Hello my fellow Kerbonauts and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a new type of cargo bay in Kerbal Space Program, like the way that you can build doors that work, that pivot and everything, without um, without lots of parts basically, because the previous techniques required you to have a fuel tank and put structural parts around them, things like that, to try and make some kind of moving joint. But there's a lot of easier way of doing this now, though it's maybe not quite as good in the end. It does provide a very, very low part count for what it is. And this is a working one, which I'm just going to show you very briefly. Um, and I'll take it out, out to the uh, out to the runway and show you what it can do. So I've got uh, artificial, uh, sorry, not artificial gravity, hat gravity on so that this can work like it's in space. And I've also attached it to a couple of things that just holds everything still. But basically what it does is uses the new advanced grabbing unit to grab on and uh, just like that. And then you can undock, use your RCS and free the pivot. Uh, and there you go, you've got a working opening joint. And uh, that actually redocks as well, just like that. So you can actually hold it in place afterwards and there you go. So that's what it can do and obviously you, you can build that into a big door. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build one of these and then show you one that's actually finished working in a final door. So how do we build one of these, you might be asking. Well, basically, we're going to use the MK3 parts in it for now just because they're quite useful because basically you, this attach point down here is quite low down, which gives you plenty of space up at the top to build a cargo bay. Um, and yeah, basically, now all we need to do is start building a sort of structural system which is going to let us uh, attach the docking ports and everything in the way we need. So I'm going to use one of those there, which will add a little bit of height and uh, give us a nice clean place to put these docking ports. So I'll put them up there like that. Now I'm going to put a pod on here just because it lets you control from the pod if you ever need to. It's you know a useful thing to do. You've got this space here anyway. So you may as well do it. Uh, it's not completely necessary, but you can do it if you want to. And then I'm going to add a few of these just to height, uh, add a bit more height to the backbone of this door. So I guess we want to make it one more, maybe. Um, that looks like a good height there. And then we can just build this, this sort of backbone of the door and I'm going to go into um, no angle snap mode so that I can build this a little bit easier. And there we are. And before we get anywhere near the end, I'm going to build in one of these advanced grabbing units because that's obviously what's going to do the cool part, which is coming up right now. So we need to line this up. We want to put it as far as we can before it starts clipping and pretty much in the middle if we can as well. And then we're going to actually stack up, stack up a few of these because that's going to be what the advanced grabbing unit grabs onto. Um, and then I'm going to get rid of all this for a second. And we're going to use those in a second. I've just put them aside there because we can't really build those while they're clipped with this. And now you'll notice this is obviously clipping completely wrong. We want this stack to be in the center of this. So we can put it on top of here and flip it around with the W, A, S and D keys. Whoa, there we go. And then we want to get it so it's basically in the center of the advanced grabbing unit. So somewhere around there. And you can see it's not perfectly lined up because I don't think the advanced grabbing unit's perfectly lined up. But it's pretty much perfectly lined up. That's as good as it's probably going to get. I guess now that we've done that... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. And uh, now that we've done that, we can try and line this up again because we know that if it's in the center of there, then it's in the center of everything else. So something like that is pretty good. That looks really well lined up, actually. So that should work an absolute treat. So now all we're really left with to do is to go out and, well, to put a couple of RCS thrusters on first of all. I'm pretty sure this command pod actually has, a, has some monopropellant in there. Yes, it does. So now all we have to do is go out and test it and I'll show you how to operate it. So here we go. We're ready on the uh, runway. I've got uh, gravity hacked, which you can do with Alt F12. You can just bring up the debug toolbar and hack it or unhack it. Uh, we want to hack it because obviously this has got to be a simulation of what it's going to do in space. Um, and then we're going to arm the claw, and it should flip around like that. That you, that means it's grabbed something that's sort of very, very close to it. Um, but that'll fix itself in a minute, don't worry, it won't look like that the whole time. And uh, yeah, and then all we're really left with to do is to decouple this, and you can see it's flipped around again. And now uh, we can activate RCS, free this pivot, and actually move the door.
and it works just like that. And I actually, see there, it's docked again and we can actually undock it. So it locks itself back in place when it's finished, uh, which is really, really nice and it works really, really well. Super easy to use. You can even bind a button to undocking these. And, you know, once you've got it set up, it works many, many times in a row. Nothing's going to go wrong there because everything's part of the same vessel. So this is actually clipping with each other if it needs to, which, you know, makes it work really, really well. So anyway, now, I'm, as I said, I'm going to build one of these into a complete cargo bay and show you exactly, you know, what it can do. Well, here we are. I've got the finished thing now. Pretty much finished anyway. And uh, yeah, this is, well, first of all, you probably actually do this on the launch pad. You can set this up, just arm the arm, make sure that's all done. And then, uh, well, you can do this. You actually, you know, kind of have to do this from in here because I've not got it to... I've not got it bound to an action group, but you combine that to an action group, undoing that, and then go in here and free the pivot. And then hopefully from there, it should just work if we turn on RCS, yep. There we go, that's our cargo bay done, and you can see there it's docked again. Um, and I'd obviously have to bind that to an action group to make that a bit easier to do. Here we go, we can just go inside, hit undock, and it works. So that's it done. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it helped. If you thought it was good, if it you know did help you, then please give it a thumbs up or a favorite or something like that. And if you want to see more of my videos, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if um, if you have any suggestions or questions, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I always read them all. And uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.